Meek Mill says he will help rappers get record deals if the killing stops in his city. The whole city of Philly gives him the side eye. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so. Yeah. So, apparently, Meek Mill decided that all of the gang violence that was going on in Philly, enough was enough. And he said that if, you know, uh, the major, the main, uh, I don't, I don't want to call out how many numbers he said, but he, he said major like seven, eight or whatever the gangs decided that they were going to, you know, end the killing, stop all the violence, that he'll start signing rappers. Gang said, we don't believe you. Okay. Now, <laughs> one thing I just want to be extremely clear on is, I, for one, am not saying that Meek Mill was not being genuine. I have no idea if Meek Mill was being genuine or not. This sounds like something that somebody that if they were genuine and they said this, that you need to hop up on it in two seconds. I'm going to give a quick example. Remember when Donald Trump was like, yo, I'm going to give all of these, all of these black businesses and and all of these billions and trillions of dollars to black people, whatever the case was. And I wasn't saying that that's something that he was going to do. I wasn't saying let's vote for him because that's something he wanted to do. I just want to make that clear. What I was saying was, you know what? Before the elections even happen, let's let him bring this up and see, you know, bring it to Congress or whatever. And let's see if we can get it passed. After that, you can do whatever you want with him. <laughs> but let's call his bluff. And right now, I'm saying the same exact thing in the Meek Mill situation. I'm saying, hey, you know what, uh, Philly Gangs, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I think you should do whatever the heck y'all want to do. I come to Philly sometime, no beef. But why don't you call the guy's bluff? Why don't you say, all right. Even though, you know, Meek Mill has a history of not really working with Philadelphia rappers. If And just so we could point this out, uh, Meek Mill did have one of the legends. Might I say, I'm going to say that again, just because I don't think it had enough panaz on it. One of the legends of hip-hop, Beanie Siegel, got punched in the face and knocked out from... I believe, and associates, I don't know if it was O'Malley or not, but from an associate of Meek Mill, okay, Beanie Siegel's supposed to be, as far as I would have thought, off limits, it's like you got rappers in New York City, and they decide to punch Rakim in the face, I'm not saying Beanie Siegel was on the level of Rakim, but Beanie Siegel is a legend also, is my point, that deserves a certain level of respect, that even if he's talking crazy sideways out of his mouth, you gotta be like, all right, we gotta let you have this one because you are being received. Anyway, point being is, Meek Mill has not been known to work well with other rappers in Philly. Meek Mill have his own beef with rappers in Philly. I believe there's a Quilly out there that Meek Mill is being accused of avoiding that's been trying to beef with him. Now, with all of that being said, I'm not real big on the beefing with people. So if you're just trying to steer clear people that's just trying to beef unnecessarily with you, I, I guess I'm on that. I'm, I'm on that time too. I'm like, I don't, I don't really want beef with you, homie. Can we? I'm, I'm over here working. You over there thinking about me. I'm not saying that's the case with Quilly, by the way. 
But I believe Quilly's beef with Meek Mill, if I could be correct, please put it down in the comment section if I'm wrong. I could be incorrect. Is that Meek Mill does not help Philly rappers. I say all that to say this. When Meek Mill came out on, on, on Twitter and put out that he was going to help Philly rappers if Philly rappers decided to start beefing, I believe nobody believed him because he does not have a history of being interested in putting other rappers in Philly on. There's a uh, rapper named Lil Snoop that got that passed away. He got, he got killed over a video game or something stupid. And, um... He came from a whole nother city. He was not from Philly. Meek Mill has a history of not helping artists in Philly. Now, with all that being said, they were going crazy on Meek on Twitter. They were just ripping Meek up. It was, I don't know how Meek could take it. Anyway, um, <laughs> only reason why I say that is because of the situation between him and Drake. And it looked like uh, that situation got was just he was too emotional for that um, that level of uh, beefing. Like you have to be, you have to just avoid it. Especially since he started the Drake beef. Like Drake was somewhere minding his business, and then Meek Mill started to hey, but you got people writing for you. Well, Drake, well Meek Mill, at this stage in your career, you might need people to write for you. That could be the argument that a lot of people could make. I'm not making it. Anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Put it down in the comment section. Do you believe Meek Mills will actually help Philly rappers if, you know, the violence could go down? And just on this note, just to be quite honest with you, there's also an argument that a lot of them are making that a lot of people are saying is like, yo, Meek, but this is the type of music you make. How can you make music that speaks about violence and then at the same time say stop the violence? You're, at, you're literally adding to the violence. If you don't want to... If you want to say stop the violence, you have to make music saying stop the violence. If you want to say stop the violence, you have to make music that at least isn't adding to the violence. You can't make um, trap music and then, you know, be on a tip hop. Oh. Anyway, point being is um, Meek Mill is being is they're absolutely real enough and while <laughs> i i this this whole entire video so far has been admitting that he deserves all the crap he's getting but i do want to say this much i would like to see the violence stop in america uh, as far as our people attacking our own people i mean I, w I would like to see all the violence stop to be honest with you but if we could prevent our own people from hurting our own people i guess that would be the best that would be a good place to start and I'm not talking about black on black crime. I'm just saying, can we can we increase black on black love? If we increase black on black love, us committing crimes against each other, that'll take care of itself. At least that's that's my feelings on it. I think we need to increase black on black love. So Meek Mill, if this is something that you really real about, if this is something that you really into, if this is something that you really want to make happen. You know, first you got to start making your words match your, match your actions. Because um, right now, your words are saying stop the violence, but your music is talking about all of the street gang shit. You out here making music, you know, to make other people jealous of you. That's literally adding all that floss and music. What you think that is? That's to get the green eyed bandit. Not the green eyed bandit. That's that's Eric Sermon. But that's to get the green eyed monster up in people. That jealousy, that envy. So Meek Mills, if you want people to believe you, right? You got these are the two things I'm gonna tell you to do right now. People will go right on board. The first thing you do is you sign an artist from one of these gangs. Don't matter which gang, right? You sign an artist from one of these gangs, and you sign another artist from whatever the opposing gang is that they're beefing with. And you let them know right off the rip like this, even before the violence stop. But look, I'm going to feed you first, right? I'm going to feed you first. Then you're going to be able to feed your team. Those people that you beefing with, those guys that y'all be shooting at each other, I'm feeding them too. 
Both of y'all got to drop y'all guns, though. And as long as there's no violence between the two of y'all, right here in this contract, it say it right here. As long as there's no violence between the two of y'all, we going to eat. But y'all got to make sure that the violence between the two of y'all stop. And y'all got to keep y'all block safe. Because you eating that. So all of, you eating that. We going to feed you and make it so you can feed your community. But we got to build our community up together. We're going to, we, I'm going to, I'm going to also put some money to the side. We're going to get some of these mom and pop shops, a little bit of equity. So they could improve their establishment. So they could improve their earnability. We're going to put a little bit more money into the community to do this and to do that. We're going to help out those single moms. This is what we're going to do. Because some of that money that you're making, that you're going to be making off of me because I'm feeding you, you're going to help me do this. And we're going to build our city up. See, that's the type of conversation he needs to be having. I don't know if he's ready for that type of conversation. That's just my opinion. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think. Put it down in the comment section. I love y'all. And Meek, I mean, it sounds good. It sounds good. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Mike,